Okay, so we're in our BIOS. Uh, we have a few different sections here, and this is kind of a place um, that gives you a, an overview of the server itself. Um, it's kind of has its system preferences and options, and you can, you know, reformat here. And um, but then there's also a place where you can build arrays and um, a whole other section that we'll get into. But yeah, that's sidebar. So, okay. System options. You hit tab. Let's see if we do tab. There you go. So it's giving me the, uh, the Nick 1, 2, 3, and 4. <laughs> right. And then, yeah, just kind of our, our standard stuff, what we already know. Um, power management. I would assume you keep a lot of this stuff the same. Um, I'm going to go in and find exactly what we should change in order to make it a little bit better. Maybe to you know, improve security and uh, let's see. Oops. Go to Japan. Change the language. Uh, I don't even know what this is. Lights out, I hello, I know that. So that's cool. It looks like they're looking at the chips that are embedded. The RAM, huh? Four port. There you go. All my ports are being recognized. Don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> so we don't mess with it. But that's that section. All right, this is not. I'm not being very helpful here, but I guess you can. We're all walking through it together. We're learning. Um. See boot controller. Or yeah, I got to get. So what I have to do is install an operating system. So, and I have to set up the hard drives to be a certain array. Uh, I don't know, like a RAID 5 or something. But, uh, yeah. So I think that's what this is saying right here. C boot control order, because we have to have it boot up to something. Uh, floppy. The controller. So we have the HP Smart Array 420i controller. Nice. Sorry to say, okay. Date and time. I guess that's pretty simple. So there we go. Disable. I don't know. A lot of this stuff doesn't. I'm not going to change. I'm just flipping. Why is it support? Yep. Oh, this is over my head. <laughs> All right, so I'm not really changing anything. This is just a quick walkthrough, but you're not really learning anything here. I don't know what what I'm doing, but I did want to get all this on camera just to see. There you go. System restore default system settings. All right, we've learned something. This is where, at the end of the day, you can hit F9. Get into your BIOS, find your system's default options, and delete, reset it back to factory settings. Alright. Utility language, that's changing it to, to like Japanese or something, we don't want to do that. Uh, yeah, so that's a longer overview, I and mean, we haven't really done much in here. Um, 
I just wanted to walk through it, so maybe I'll do a better video, I don't know, it wasn't, this one wasn't uh, all that great, but hitting F9 right when the server is turned on, will take you to your ROM base setup utility, <laughs> I just call it the BIOS, I don't know if it's, I think that's what it's called, and then um, from there, uh, you know, you can see some of the features within this section, so we're going to step out uh, and talk about another F key, um, you know, we're going to reboot the system. I've just been doing that by powering it off. I'm positive that's the wrong way to do it, but um, I'm not sure how else to do it. And so, we'll do that. So thank you. Um, this is an overview of F9 and each one of the utilities in the BIOS. Oops.